morning guys so I have quickly whizzed through my makeup this morning and I went with a slightly thicker line like top eyeliner because I did that awful thing where I just like was almost clumsy and just went Bleh! onto my eyelid so I just made it thicker so that I didn't have to mess up all of my eyeshadow. Anyway, this is um, my makeup for the day and I washed my hair this morning. I'm using these new products. I'll show you. Ooh. It's a new shampoo and conditioner um, by uh, Numia. So um, I got these off my hairdresser obviously and they're completely natural and um, really beautiful in your hair. And, um, I find that when I'm using it, my hair feels like silky and that's a really hard thing to achieve when you are a blonde. I am quickly going to get through my hair. I hope you can see me, the lighting in here is not great. Um, and so the first thing that I always do um, is I leave my hair until it's, it's still damp, like it's still quite damp. It's wet but it's not like soaking and then I put through um, like a kind of like a 20 cent coin um, amount of Olifex and I just really make sure that I run that through the ends um, and this really helps to keep my hair in good condition and protect it against the heat of the hair dryer as well. So that's what I always do. And then I have this brush here, which is kind of like a tangle teaser, um, which is really good to use when your hair is wet because um, obviously when your hair is wet, it's more prone to breaking, which is what we don't want. Okay. So it's kind of all brushed through now. And um, my dad actually bought me this hair dryer, and it's the best hair dryer I've ever owned in my life. It's called the Wall W A H L Wall. Yeah, Wall. Maybe like yeah. Anyway, seven thousand, and it is a mega star. Um, I think my dad got me this from like a hairdressing shop years ago. I probably had it for like or at least seven, eight years, and it is just so good. It dries my hair really quickly, and I just love it. So, um, first of all, I just kind of dry it. I just kind of dry it roughly, so I'm just going to do that now. Okay, so my hair is pretty dry, and now what I do is um, I have had this big brush. My dad also bought this for me. It's a GHD, like big kind of curling, if you want to get a bit of volume in your, your hair kind of brush. Um, so I'm not very good at doing this, um, but I just like to go through and... Um, as best I can kind of give it a little bit of a blow wave. Um, so I'm just gonna do the back a little bit. Alright, so what I do is I just kind of take the brush and the hair dryer and I just curl, I kind of go in this motion. You can see my wrist is turning like this. Just with the hair dryer and um, I find that it just makes sure that it kind of like smooths my hair off, it kind of seals it off. Now the bits at the back I'm a bit more kind of like unco at getting to so I have to kind of put my hair dryer down first 
and then set it up. So I pull a bit out and I get my brush in. I'm going to take my GHDs. I absolutely love these. I found the hair products. It's not something that I mix up. I don't buy new stuff all the time. I don't use lots of different products in my hair, kind of all of X, and then just a good shampoo and conditioner is it. Um, and I have these GHDs that my mum bought me. I've been very lucky, haven't I, with all these gifts. And um, they're such a good gift because they're quite expensive to buy for yourself, but um, it's like a really nice thing for your parents to buy for, for you. Um, yeah, so anyway, I am going to just plug these in, um, and then you just turn it on. Now, I'm not a, um, like a huge, I don't use hot tools every time. Um, I'm someone who is pretty happy with just leaving my hair like this on a normal day but definitely for work I need it to be even tidier and I'm just going to just move the top bit and I'll just twist it up and clip it and now with the bottom bits up here I'm going to just go through the ends with the GHD. And I always curl under because I don't like it to be dead, sh um, dead straight. So I also love doing curls, but um, I sometimes use the GHD to do curls. But I find that I get um, sometimes a better result if I use my Numi wand. Um, so yeah. So now I will just show you again. So I've got the piece of here, and then I don't go too close to the roots. I just go over it a few times, and then towards the end, just curling it under. And I find that this does that kind of final seal of your hair and. Um, I mean, my hair would have been fine for today, but it could have been quite messy by tomorrow. So um, for me, it's all about me not having to wash it a million times because that's not good for your hair, especially when you are blonde. So then I grab like the whole side bit and I kind of put a little wave into it just so that it's not dead straight. And now I'm going to go over my whole hair head and do this. I'm just going to put you up slightly. Better? Right. So. Start with these bits. So now with the front bits, kind of a little bit of trial and error, but I kind of want them to swoop out. So I'm just going to smooth them over like that. Because I like my fringe to kind of go like this, like curtains. So yeah, curl them in and then I just go over the whole thing. There's no science to it really. You just get to know your own hair as well. So this is how I get just ultra kind of, it's got a bit of body but it's sleek and tidy here. 
um, turn my GHD off. And then I put a little bit of this hairspray in. It's Osis um, by Schwarzkopf and it's the Super Dry Flex. But the good thing about this is um, if your hair is a little bit damaged, it's not super sticky. Um, so you can actually brush your hair after using it without damaging. So I just do like little like psh, 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 um, just to set it all in place and then I go down my part and get rid of any flyaways because that's a pain for the cameraman when they're trying to backlight me. Yeah, that's kind of how I do my hair and um, I sort of continue to play with it you know, throughout the day, as yes, you do.